Welcome to Smart Remarks. We're ticking off conservatives as just one of the many services we offer. So in an interview broadcast on Fox News last week, Bristol Palin, the daughter of former Republican vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin. Our next door neighbors are foreign countries. They're in the state that I am the executive of. Talked about teens and sex and pregnancy and her young son trip, now almost two months old. Palin, whose mother campaigned for the Alaska governor's seat on an abstinence platform, told Fox News' Greta Van Susteren that while everyone should be abstinent, quote, it's not realistic at all. It's more and more accepted now, among kids my age. Now, I think Bristol Palin is absolutely correct, although I don't celebrate that fact. You know, I myself have two young kids, and I'm absolutely terrified at the prospect of raising them in this sexualized culture. From, how's it going? And so when the time comes, I absolutely plan on telling them that Abstinence is the only surefire way to avoid pregnancies and STDs. I will tell my own kids that if you want to avoid troubles, you need to avoid sex because that is the truth. So I'm going to tell them this and I hope they take it to heart. However, kids are kids. And so no matter how uncomfortable it might make me, as a parent, that's the reality. And as a parent, under no circumstances would I fail to tell them what to do if, in fact, they can't control their teenage urges. I'm sure it's going to be extremely uncomfortable to talk to them about things like contraceptives, but you know what? If it prevents my daughter from getting pregnant at a young age, if it prevents my son from getting an STD, then all my embarrassment is worth it. But I wonder about conservatives who continue to cling to this idea that abstinence-only education is the way to go. It's an approach that's been shown to be ineffective, but don't get me wrong, it is the ideal, but you might say that the difference between liberals and conservatives is that while liberals realize that the ideal is not always realistic, conservatives insist that it is, even when the evidence proves otherwise. I wonder about Sarah Palin herself. After this experience, does she still cling to the notion that abstinence-only education is an effective way to prevent teen pregnancies? Or is it not about that? Is this about the fact that that is the right policy to have, even if the right policy isn't effective? As for Bristol Palin herself, you know, she's a brave girl and I wish her well. But I hope people, including her own mother, listen when she says that abstinence is unrealistic. We shouldn't be basing policy on wishful thinking. We've had too many years of doing exactly that.